News of the iconic entertainer's diagnosis shines another light on the debilitating disease. KKL 9's Michelle Geely has more on the diagnosis and how Bennett and others Alzheimer patients can benefit from music. Four years into his Alzheimer's diagnosis, legendary singer Tony Bennett needs no cue cards to sing his classics, according to his wife Susan. Good life. Music and memory is something that scientists and doctors at UC Irvine continue to study. UCI Mind, an institute for memory impairments and neurological disorders, is at the forefront of Alzheimer's disease research. It turns out that, not surprisingly, the brain handles different kinds of information differently. And music is different from language than recognizing words and other things and things around us. So how the brain works with music is different and is appears to be less affected by the Alzheimer's process than, for example, written words or memory for information that we learned yesterday. Not to where I hear you wrote, wrong and on the rock road, by the rivers flowing gentle on my mind. In 2012, we talked to music superstar Glenn Campbell after he learned he had Alzheimer's disease. He and his family had made a brave decision to go out on tour and make a documentary. Glenn Campbell shared soon after his diagnosis that words at times were difficult to remember. It was his music that came easy. Here I am, what am I, 75 years old? Went down and, and cut a really nice, uh, what do you call it? Your album. I know Ghost my album. Canvas. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting very forgetful. If you learn new words that are associated with a song, singing a song with words, your ability to remember those words is, is better than when it's linked to music than it is if you just, for example, read those words on a page and tried to learn them. In Irvine, Michelle Geely, KCAL 9 News.